Hurricane eclipse is now just days away. If you're skeptical about looking at the sun with solar eclipse glasses or you don't want to buy them, Nicolette Zangara shows us a cheap and effective alternative. This family friendly craft can be done with simple supplies around your house. Dr. Kevin Rice explains how it works. One of the ways you can safely view a solar eclipse is with uh, indirect viewing is what it's called where uh, basically you make a tiny kind of pinhole camera in a shoebox or an object like that and you're looking at the reflection of the sun coming through uh, onto a screen on the back of it usually like an index card or piece of paper to make your own eclipse viewer you need a box ideally similar to a cereal box white paper scissors tape a pencil aluminum foil and something like a thumbtack to create the pinhole First, we're going to take our box and you want to use one of the ends of the box, not the edges, and plop it down on your sheet of paper. You're then going to take your pencil and you're going to trace out the shape. Now that you have your shape traced out, you want to cut it out with your scissors. Now we're going to use our tape. You want to get a couple of pieces ready to go. You just want to stick it on your cut out piece of paper. Now that your paper is sticky, you're going to attach it to the end of the box on the inside. This is going to act as a screen for the eclipse to project onto. Now we're going to close up our box and we're going to tape it so that there is no light coming inside the box at all. We're going to cut out our eye hole and our sun hole. If you want, you can mark which side of the box has the paper on it with a little P for paper so that you don't cut into that side. At this point, your box should look like this. You have two holes on one side, the other side is taped shut, and this is where the paper is. We're now going to cover one of these holes with the aluminum foil, so you just need a piece that's big enough to fit that square. And just like we did with the box earlier, you want to make sure all the edges are covered so that no light gets through the edges of the aluminum foil. Now we want to create a perfectly circular hole in the aluminum foil for the sun to project through. This part you cannot do over without redoing the aluminum foil. So make sure you do it right. I'm going to use a thumbtack, which has a little bit more of a rounded tip. You can also use a ballpoint pen or something that you know is going to leave a small pinhole in the aluminum foil. Now, if you're using a larger box like this one, you want to make the viewing hole a little bit smaller so that you're not letting additional light into the box. Here's how you can test out your solar eclipse viewer to make sure you did all the steps correctly. First, make sure the sun is in the sky, then position the pinhole towards the sun and look down through the viewing hole. You should see a projection of the sun. The best part about this project is you can view the entire partial eclipse with the solar eclipse viewer. And for those of you in the path of totality, for those short minutes that the moon is fully covering the sun, you don't need anything to view totality. Reporting in Springfield, Nicolette Zangara, KY3 News.